Right, our next guest is a magician by trade and has been wowing audiences around the country for the past few years with his close-up magic and mentalism. He has now moved his talent to the big deal stage and has already impressed the judges enough to get through to the semi-final. Let's take a sneak peek at what we can expect from his semi-final performance. Now, earlier on, if you remember, we had a piece of art chosen. You were the one who called it out. What was our piece of art? The Mona Lisa. OK, and our challenge was that we need to use the Mona Lisa for a trick. So check this out. Watch the cards. The Mona Lisa is painting, and if I can get this right, I can, you guys can see this on the big screen, it might look like I can actually paint something to life. Does that look familiar? There she is. <laughs> now, what? Through a what? How in the name what of God do you do that? You know what? I paid off all the judges. It's, <laughs> it's all set up. That's amazing to see. Thank you. Though. It's the first and time I've seen that as well, so I'm very impressed. Really, it, that moment when you do whatever the, the payoff of the, of the illusion is. The prestige, yes. Is that, that <laughs> moment of people go, what? That must be why you do it, I'd imagine. It's, yeah, you know, the very famous magician David Blaine has a very good quote. He says, You don't get into magic, magic gets into you. Oh, right. Uh, and it's, it does, it's, it is what it says in the tin. When you get a reaction from someone, it's like heroin. It's unbelievable. How did magic get into you in the first place? Uh, in a really weird way. I used to be a fire performer. I used to breathe and spin fire on the streets of Dublin as a busker. Lovely. Really? Yeah, as you do. How and did you I, discover that as a talent? By do you know, way? I try and look back and I try and figure out how I got into it, but I just, I think I thought it was so different to what everyone else was doing. Absolutely. So let me light these balls of fire on fire and spin them around. And I had a really bad accident one night, a freak accident where my T-shirt went up in flames. No. Um, and when I was on fire, some, you can actually see the photos there, they're fairly grisly. Oh my god. But words. when I was on fire, someone started throwing beer on me to help. I like to think he was like a volunteer scientist that knew there was lots of water and beer, but oh. it went the opposite way oh. and just... It's alcohol and beer. Which went up in flames, so I ended so up in hospital. So you were badly burnt? Very badly burnt, my hands were, were very badly burnt in my chest, my neck and my arms, because it all just happened here. Yeah. So when I was in hospital, a friend gave me a book about card tricks, purely as a joke. He came in and said, I always knew you had a hot body. And he gave me a book <laughs> on card tricks, because uh, I was all very bandaged good. up, so the last thing I could do is even hold a deck of cards. But That's when I left incredible. hospital, I started reading and uh, performing, and it got into me. And it became a career. Well, it's a little different, you know, as you say, you were sitting there, you're reading about it, and you got it, whatever. But to, to make that choice to go, actually, I can make a living, I want this, to do this for my job. Yes. What was the moment that, that made you think, right, now I'm going to do it? Uh, after the first paid gig that I did, yeah. Yeah, I was impressed that I could make a bit of money doing it. And I said, you know, I think I can That's fair enough. You're yeah, getting paid think, for it. Happy I days. I think I can give this a shot. Uh, yeah. To this day, my parents wish I was a doctor or something else, I think. Ah, sure, look at it. Yeah, but, you know, we, we, we choose the path that we choose. And, and I've been doing it for 14 years now at wow. events and weddings and stuff across the world. How much of it is, I know it's all sleight of hand and all mm. that sort of stuff, but you, you have to be able to read people very well as well and kind of implant things into their brain for want of a better phrase and you do that you'd have to ask my girlfriend who i live with if i can implant something in her brain i've yet to, I've yet to do any mind control on her so. yeah. she's too wise yeah state. we just compromise and do what she wants to yeah, do the yeah. whole you're, you're yeah. a very sensible man and that's yes. a secret to a happy relationship i believe so compromise and yeah. doing what they want uh, <laughs> yeah, psychology is. is huge it's when it comes huge to magic. yeah and uh, choosing the right person and knowing their susceptibility knowing what type of person they are and we, our eyes give away a lot of stuff yeah. as well. Our eyes access certain areas of the brain. For example, one side of the brain accesses the creation part, another side accesses um, memory. Yeah. So if you're in a conversation with someone and their eyes keep darting up to one side of their brain, which is the creation part, you know they're creating a story, which is most likely a lie. Yeah. But if it goes to the memory part, you know they're probably telling the truth because they're recalling something that actually happened in their <sighs> life. What if they're <laughs> left-handed? That's, well, the that's yeah. another thing. That's how they, they can really catch you out. Interesting you say that because I was uh, presenting at AM Donkeys years ago now with Mark Cagney and uh, Keith Barry was yes, on. Keith and Ray. he was trying to uh, trick Jedward and it did not work at all. Mm. Couldn't do it at all. So did you try and do anything with the, the judges? Jedward were tough. Yeah. They're very <laughs> hyperactive. Yeah. But it was someone told me before I went on and said, but you perform for drunk people at weddings all the time. Surely you can handle these two. So no. I was like, it's a different, it's a different element. Yeah. But, so uh, why did you choose the, what, what, what was the decision behind you going on the big deal? I had, because of the pandemic, I went yeah. from performing regularly every week to on nothing. stage to yeah. literally nothing. Yeah, yeah. And then the call came in, would you like to audition? So we sent in some videos and they liked the videos and it kind of went from there. So we went over, I got to perform in the, in the audition rounds. 
And it's strange because you think, I don't really care what they think. Of but you're you right do. before you go on stage, you're yeah, like, yeah. oh, I do care now. Of course you do, but you're a performer. You're a performer. That's the bottom line is that yeah. you are a performer. You love tricking people. And yes. Are you going to trick us now? Right. I'm going to try something very, very quick because I know okay. we're tight on time. Okay. Uh, and I, I need you to help me out, Elaine. Oh, now, God. it's going to technically be for you, Simon, but you are going to help me out. Oh, right. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm now, the lovely assistant. You're the, you're the Debbie McGee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The beautiful assistant. Right. Da, da, da. Um, I have some playing cards here and I have a box. The box yeah. has a very light slit in the front. Yeah. Maybe we'll come back to that in a moment. Okay. But for now, um, can you see that all the cards are different? Yes. We use cards because everyone has decks of cards in their house. Uh, everyone can recognise these. So it's a trick that someone can kind of work out at home. Okay. So here's what you're going to try and do. Mm -hmm. I just want you to tap the back of one card. Don't even take it out. Just tap your finger on one card uh, from the top just oh. so I can see which one you want me to pull out. That one. that one. Now, I'm going to push that forward. Don't even take it out. Uh, and I'm going to lift it up so that you guys can memorise it. Now, there are monitors everywhere, but you can confirm there's no monitor here. There right? isn't, no. So I'm going to hold this up and I want you to memorise the card that you've selected, but not the one at the bottom okay, of the deck. OK, we all see that. Yeah. yeah spin around Simon, a bit. have you got it? There, let the audience see. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, we so all have it. the one that's popping up, we yeah, all have the one that, that, that's yeah. the one that you chose. Okay. Yeah. So would you mind just popping it back down for me? Flat, right. flush in the deck. Very good. Uh, and I'll just give these a little... Mid-air riffle shuffle, just a mid-air riffle shuffle. Like I'd love to be able to do that. A gambling just to make Vegas sure that kind of stuff. all the cards are a little bit mixed up, <laughs> and we'll leave those there. Now, Simon. Yes, sir. Your part begins. You're a very talented actor, and God I want to see you. if we can try and figure out your thoughts. Oh, so all you have to do is a lot just... of people who tried. To... <laughs> all I need you to do is just think about that card over yes. and over and over, and don't forget it because now the people at home have seen it, so are, I can't change my are mind. Are committed, right? Don't mess it up. Right. So in your mind right now, I want you to imagine we're in a casino in Vegas. There's a million dollars on the line, and there's one card. We're playing a strange game where <clears> if I can figure out this card, I win. If you can keep it from me, you win. It's a gentleman's bet. There is no money. Okay. And it's very easy. Now, Elaine, you might be able to, to, to watch for some of his tells here because you know what the card <laughs> is as well, but I have no idea. Right. So I'm going to start with this. Yes. Make your mind go nice and blank, Simon. Yes. That was quick. Not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, magician's joke over. <laughs> Cheesy joke's gone. So in a deck of cards, yes. we have two different colours. Yes. Now, every answer that you give, just keep it in your head. Don't say anything out loud. Mm -hmm. It makes my job too easy. That's okay. that mind reading. That's just a listening, right? Okay. So the two colours that we have in a deck are black and red. Mm -hmm. And I want you to think about if your suit of your card, either mm -hmm. spades or clubs or hearts or diamonds, if it's a black card or a red card. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'm seeing some constant nods whenever I say red. So chances are I will guess red. And now you've smiled to confirm. But that's... I that's, could be spoofing. But that could be a 50-50 guess exactly. as well. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing I have to figure out now, if it's a diamond or if it's a heart. Okay. Just think about if it's a shiny diamond. Think of a song with the word diamonds in it. Mm -hmm. uh, and a heart. Think about maybe shape of your heart. Oh, very good. Okay, so you're thinking of a heart card right now. I see where your eyes are going to your memory to side. Yeah. So your eyes go up to the memory side, not the creation side. I have your child. Woo. Yeah. So now if we know it's a heart card, there's three, yeah, that, it's easier to keep a face like that. <laughs> so now we know that it's a heart card. I'm just going to make a little note here because it is early and I might forget. I'll just draw a heart there. Okay. Um, and now that we know it's a heart card, there's 13 cards left there that are, it could be. Yes. Because it could be an ace, it could be one of the royal cards, with lots of colour and detail or it could be a number card. Now, you see the way his cheeks move when I say number card? Yeah, and you felt yourself do that as well, so I think you're kind of annoyed at yourself now. Yes, right? I'm just going to do that now. Now, this is the only bit I'm going to ask you to do out loud, yes. uh, because we have nine cards, because we know it's not an ace. You see the way his eyes went? Perfect, that's called, uh, that's called a trick. I just tried to trick you. We know it's not an ace. Now I know it's a number card. So now it's going to be between two and ten. There is no number one, it's an ace. So could you count out loud, nice and slowly, backwards from ten down to two for me? Ten nine eight seven six five four three two. Very good. Now, Elaine, did you notice that he didn't look at me until he got to around five? Yeah. Which means he was totally relaxed and didn't care. Yeah. But then he looked at me to try and convince me. You know when someone's lying, they're like, <laughs> He's baby. He's staring straight ahead of you. I'm not you. doing anything. Yeah. I'm not blinking. They look you dead in the eye and they're like, baby, believe me. Believe me. <laughs> and it's always like they're, they're we trying to lie. We only were there for yeah. wondering. <laughs> yeah, I'm only coming. On. But now I know that it's going to be something between two and five. Very good. So could you count backwards from three down to two out loud? Three, two, one. Very good. OK, so you notice that I tried to trick you there as well. You we did, didn't include yeah. five or four. You did. And you went straight for three. So I'm going to guess that your card is a three of hearts. Well, I have no comment to make. Really. Is that right? So now, <clears throat> check this out, right? I have a lighter oh. here for a reason, and we're going to add a little bit of fire. I wouldn't be much of a magician if I couldn't do something. I, I thought you're not good with fire. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Now, did you see that flash of flame? I, I certainly did. did. Now, Elaine, these cards have been here the whole time, and inside here, 
you can see all the cards have blue backs, but one yeah. card is now completely burnt oh, by the fire. Stop. I'm going to leave that there and I'll put these back in the box just so I can't switch anything at the last minute. Elaine, would you mind having a look at that card and showing the camera what card it is? Yeah. My right. God. Thank you so much. That so one last amazing. thing I really want to try with you, Elaine. We'll oh. try it very quickly. We're just going to fold this in half, OK? You don't have to eat it or anything. No, 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 no. Not during a panty deep. Pandemic. So here's what we're going to do, okay? I have two halves of a card. I'll yeah. take this half. I'm going to show you a very cool optical yeah. illusion, right? Okay. I want you to imagine I can try and shove this into that box yeah. and pull it through. Sure. Now, you know there are cards in that box, yeah. probably, right? Now, how do you think that comes through? I have no idea. Magic. You probably think he emptied the box and we weren't looking, yeah, right? Yeah, did. Elaine, hold your hands out like a table, nice and strong for me. You see, it doesn't go through because inside there is a block of solid <laughs> metal. <laughs> In the, oh, you can't right. fit that up. Right. No, 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 no. I'm baffled. Really, <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you very, very Great much. Stuff. I really appreciate the invitation. Thanks, it's a pleasure. Hilarious. Thank you. My brain is fried. After break, <laughs> what's better than chocolate chip cookies? Nothing. Double chocolate chip cookies. We're in the kitchen after break. I need to lie down.